you always gotta start out with a nice cup of iced coffee from Dunkin Donuts girl what's up you guys what's up I figured I would do a get ready with me I'm not really going nowhere I'm not going nowhere but I figured you know what I'm saying I have a video to do at least I wanted to try to do this one video today just one so I figured you know while I'm doing my makeup I can talk because there are some things that I would really like to discuss some things are so controversial so if you say something that you really want to say you get like this this bad vibe or people just like really lash out at you like you're not really entitled to have an opinion these days so i'm just you know i have not said anything about whatever i'm about to say but i figured i'm going to do my makeup and i'm just going to voice my opinions on just like certain things like topics this has nothing to do with me but it has to do with what i feel now, please don't come for me these are just my opinions i don't hate on any particular group i don't hate on any particular person in general i'm just you know voicing my opinions i wanted to try out this foundation i know it's been out for like god knows probably like two years or over but i you know listen i'm all for up trying new things so let me tell y'all i was in kohl's now i don't go to kohl's because i just really don't care for their stuff amazon it will allow you to return an item you purchased from them at Kohl's. They have like the section just at Kohl's. But the cool thing about it is if you decide to return it to Kohl's, they'll give you like this QR code. And when you don't have to package anything, you don't have to have it in the envelope, you don't have to have it in its original box. Just make sure if it did come in a bag, you put it in there. But when you bring it back to Kohl's, Kohl's they'll scan this QR code and within like a couple of hours, your refund will have been processed and you'll get your money back. That's why I was in Kohl's. But I noticed that Kohl's was selling like different brands of makeup. I haven't been in Kohl's in like forever. So when I walked past to get to the Amazon section and they had this section with makeup. And the first thing that stood out to me was the pure brand makeup. But anyway, so I was like, oh, let me just check out what they got. Because I didn't even know Kohl's sold makeup like that. Like, Because I haven't been in there a couple years. So the last time I went in there, they had like some rinky dink makeup. So I'm looking and first of all, it was just a hot mess. Like really kind of messy and like it looked like nobody and their mother nobody and their mother were actually um tending to that area of cosmetics like trust me when i tell you it looked a hot damn mess they have one little section where you could try on your makeup and that section looked like it was contaminated you know let me let me look around in the other section of this little cosmetic section that they want to call fake fake sephora or fake Ulta. Okay, so they had like a whole mess load of BH Cosmetics, all the eyeshadow palettes, which was looking like really janky, like, you know, the testers, it just, it just really looked like no one had put in any type of care and love in that section since they put it there. And I wasn't about to buy anything, but then I seen they had like this whole mess of stuff of Derma Blend. I have been wanting to try the Derma Blend for like forever. So they had like this sale. And so I decided to try it out. First, you know, I looked in the mirror and tried to find my color in their little janky mirror, their little, you know, section where they put stuff, you know, where they put stuff where you could try on the makeup. Okay, where the little vanity mirror and stuff is at. And this was today, okay? So I didn't have any makeup on. And so I decided, and it was early. It was nine o'clock because they had just opened. A girl be out early trying to do her errand. So I tried, I tried it out. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna just buy this. So it's the Derma Blend Professional Flawless Creator. The color that I have is the 43W. This is supposed to be like a weightless foundation. It'll give you full coverage. It'll also feel like you don't have no makeup on. Cause I don't really care for any type of cake face. Like I'm not really up for wearing cake face. I don't hate makeup because I really do like it. As soon as I put it on for a video, I have to take it off because it just feels so heavy on my face. And because my skin is so oily, it doesn't really last on my face as long as I would prefer it to. I don't really like to wear foundation for too much. I'd rather just go outside with some pressed powder on my face and call it a day. 40 something dollars, but it was on sale for like 30, 40% off, which was good, okay? Cause a girl is definitely not trying to spend a whole bunch on. I will return it just the same way I was there to return at Amazon. I will return it. And it said from what I was hearing, reading, watching, that you do, it doesn't feel like you have on any foundation at all. And you can also mix it with your other foundations. So in case you guys are like, why do I have an elastic 
piece of elastic band, my head. It is hell sleeping with a headscarf tied to hold your wig down at night. You know how you tie it so tight that your head start throbbing? You get like a, a wig headache, a scarf headache? Listen, I put this piece of elastic and this is my headband for at night and it works. Let me tell y'all, it has the right tension. It holds it in place. It don't leave no bad marks and it stays in place, okay? This is what I like about this. Plus, I took the ends and I just sewed them together, so it's a headband now, I sewed it, because a knot back there was hurting my damn head. So it'll help it lay a lot tighter on the sides. Or let me tell y'all, I have to put this baby back on. I love this wig, this is by my first wig. I did a video like a few weeks ago on this wig, and it's a glueless full lace wig. Her name is Alexis. She's 100% virgin Malaysian hair. And you guys know this is an easy, lazy, free wig. Okay, the hair texture is silky, um, transparent to the T. Like, you cannot see any lace on it, okay? I did make some baby hair as well, whatever you would call it, on it. The quality of this unit is actually very pretty. And between my first wigs and um, RPG show, I actually really, really do love their wigs. So this is a really good quality wig. It's 20 inches. I can't remember the density. I think it was, let me see. The density is 130%. I'm, I'm surprised that this is only 130% because it's nice and full. Comes with an elastic band. It's already pre-sewn. It's stretchable. You can get it in a lace front. But girl, you definitely have to check out my first wigs. They have some bomb wigs. I love their wigs. You know what I mean? And RPG shows, which they look very natural. Some people probably be like, they're too pricey, but honey, you get what you pay for. I guarantee you, when you get one of their wigs, you do not have to do much but put it on or wash it. You know what I'm saying? Really good quality wig. I do like this. I've worn it quite a few times. I slept in it. Okay, honey? I just took off my RPG show wig. I'm loving it. Like, seriously. It doesn't tangle. It has not shed. Um, really good bleaching of the knots that they did. It's all bleached for you. So you don't really have to do much. I really do like this wig a lot. I'll leave the link in the video description below. So we're going to try out this. It comes with a dropper, which is cool. I'm not like a huge fan of these. Um, I don't know. So I'm going to just put some on the back of my hand. It's very watery-like, okay? So I'm hoping that this works in my favor. And I did see on the Derma Blend video on YouTube that they used a, um, a beauty, not a beauty blender. I wanted to use my beauty blender, but they used a brush. It's reminding me of the Il Maquillage foundation that I had purchased and sent back. It was not my color for one. It just gave me like this dry feeling. I don't know. I didn't really care for it too much. And even though I have oily skin, I don't really want my skin to feel dry. So I didn't like it. The color that they picked for me was not a dead on match. This, I'm not really sure if this is a dead on match either. Feeling like this was a little bit too light. That freaking coals and their dull ass lighting was horrible. They have horrible lighting. And like I said, that little section looked like nobody didn't care for it. And like God knows since when. It's very smooth. It's, you know what? It feels really smooth when it goes on. I do like the feeling of it. It feels like cashmere, baby. I don't know about this color, you guys. Oh, well, anyway, um, I was explaining this in one of my recent videos, but once I changed my bedroom furniture from all white to the dark cherry red, it kind of was interfering a lot with my videos. The color, it was giving me like this bluish tint. And regardless of the equipment, I was still using the same stuff, but it was just giving me like this really bad bluish tint. And it would take me like hours to color correct sometimes or hours just to edit because of the color correction. So I started watching like other videos and granted, I just started watching other videos like kind of like popped up on my screen one night. And I said, let me, let me, just, let me see if this will work out. Well, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to change some things around because I know that if you have like all white, it, it brings you light. And I'm not about to go rechange my furniture. So maybe if I just move my room around, my little area around. So I switched things around and now that window that was directly in front of me is now to the side of me. All of my camera equipment is more or less by the balcony. When I'm ready to record, I just put my camera and my lighting out. And it also helped me a lot because I had a lot of equipment that I had purchased for YouTube that I was unable to use because of the way I was already recording. So now I get to use like my 50 millimeter lens um, that I had purchased like years ago. You know, you have to have like a wide space for that. So now I get to use that and I get like the blurred background. I also went and purchased new curtains from Amazon. Being that I want to sit by the light and in front of it, it definitely has to 
kind of like block out the light because that will interfere with your videos. I purchased some really nice blackout curtains from um, Amazon. After three tries or four, you know, four, four. First three curtains, I was like, eh, I don't really like those. They look kind of dry and dull. I just decided, you know what, I'm going to get the white ones. Not just plain white, but something with some design. So I really like these curtains a lot. Um, if you want some really nice blackout curtains, you know, hopefully I'll remember to leave the link. But if I don't, you know, point a message, leave a comment, and I'll, I'll you know, try to, I'll put the link. I think they were like, you get two panels, thank God, because I hate when curtain places sell only one panel. And they have like a variety of colors. So, you know, that was like the cool, that was like a cool thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I was able to do that. But the thing about it was when I first decided to change this around, I went out and I, I moved the furniture all around, you know what I'm saying? I changed my desk out because I already had a, a different Ikea desk that my mother purchased for me last last June for my birthday. So that's what I'm using now. And um, just the things, the equipment, things that I have, you know, I had all these different things that I had purchased but really didn't know how to use them properly because due to the space that I was subjected to. Before I even purchased the curtains, I purchased like, I went to the fabric store and bought like some fabric, some white thick fabric just to hang up as a backdrop. And I bought some clips. Did that twice. I, I liked it, but I didn't really like it. And then I said, you know what? Let me get some nice curtains. I got the white ones. So now I don't even have to keep hanging up a backdrop all the time. I just leave, I just use my curtains, which is perfect. Okay, and other little things that I've already had. My setup, I'm happy with. I have like all different type of lights in here and they're really inexpensive. You'd probably be amazed at certain lights that you can use for videos. I put on the concealer and the foundation. So, so you know what? It kind of oxidizes into your skin, so it kind of looks a little bit better. So we're gonna go, I'm, you know what? I have not used this airspun in like forever, so I'm gonna give it a try. You know, you get something else, and then it's like, I'm gonna use something else now. You know, we're just gonna have a chit chat. Let's talk about whatever comes to mind. And it might be a little bit of controversy. We are adults, and I'm pretty sure that we can handle ourselves in an adult-like manner. Sometimes I might get a little bit irate, but um, I think for the most part, I'm able to handle myself like an adult. You know, I have, I do have some anger issues, you know, that I talked to you guys about in the last video. But um, for the most part, I do believe that I can handle myself like a young lady, okay? So the one thing that I want to talk to you guys about, um, it is really starting to, it's not starting to irritate me. It's not really irritating to me, but I find like, listen, with this day and age, we have kids. Why do I look so, I know you guys have seen a new commercial for Target, a new hair care brand in Target, which is black owned. Okay. We should have products in every store, every chain store, every boutique, you know what I'm saying? The honey pot hair, um, products. It's a really great commercial. The family comes together in Target, and she basically is just saying, you know, the reason why she works so hard on Honey Pot is so that another black young lady will also see her products in Target. Please tell me why there are so many negative comments about this young lady, the owner of Honey Pot, basically saying how she's racist, that's racist, also a white girl can't find her dreams. Like, first of all, Nobody said that white girls can't. And this is the one thing that's starting to piss me off, okay? Why is it that when black women or black people in general do something, we have to be scrutinized for it, okay? But when another race, and let's just say, and I'm not being racist, so please don't think like I'm a racist or I don't like Caucasian people, but why is it whenever we do something, whether it, you know, Whenever we do something as a black person, as a black as black people as a whole, it don't matter if it was just me doing it. It don't matter if it was your mama doing it. It doesn't matter. When we do something great, we still get scrutinized for it. Why is that? And I'm trying to figure this out. So here we go again with the bullshit with white women. And it seems like it's white target women. Target white women. A lot of bullshit has happened in Target with white women versus black women and it could be anything but it's always seems like a white woman is always kind of like verbally attacking another black woman for just about anything it can do with all kind of shit like lemonade stands selling water walking down the street coming out your own house i am so tired of it 
So here we have the successful black family who's come out with a beautiful product for hair. And the commercial was in no way racist. Not in my eyes anyway, okay? It was in no way, shape, or form racist. Basically, she was just happy with her own work and her own accomplishment. And if I was to come out and target with the wig line, you best believe I would say the same damn thing because I would want every little black girl and black boy to accomplish something and be able to live up to their dreams. That's not saying I'm shadowing out any type of other race like the Caucasian people, but I'm pretty sure that they would find the wrong in what I said and they would try to pick it apart and make it into like a racial thing. And so now we have all of these people, these non-black people, white women, leaving nasty comments saying she's racist, saying that the product made their hair fall out, the product stinks. It's just like all this negativity. For what? Because of one statement. So black people can't have nothing. So this lady can't do something and accomplish something and say that she wants her, her own race to be able to accomplish something. What the hell is so wrong with that? I'm pretty sure that when white people get up there and they, they promote something or they speak about something that especially that is positive, they want to themselves just as well, their own people to be able to gain an accomplishment and be something in life. I ain't never seen no white person get up on stage and say, well, I went, I've accomplished this, but I don't want no other white people to accomplish it. They big up their own people too, okay? So we don't never backlash them. We don't never lash out to them. We never say anything about the products that they come out with and support their own people. But the moment we come out and say something about, you know, we want all little young black girls or whatever to be able to succeed, it's a problem. Because basically that's all it is in a nutshell. White women, please stop harassing us black women. Okay, this has gotten out of hand. Like they are on a mission to kind of, not all of them, okay? So please, not all. They're not all bad, but the ones that do start with the fickle nonsense, please stop. We got we got them harassing kids for selling water bottles in front of their own property. We got them harassing kids for selling lemonade. Let me tell y'all, last week, I'm driving through the subdivision where I live and right by the waterfall the main entrance there's this 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 mother and daughter now they white okay and this is right by the lake as soon as you come in by the waterfall the lake and there's a bunch of grass area and that's where the ducks be at and shit people be coming that don't even live in garden lakes taking pictures and shit like that but anyway so as soon as you come in garden lakes this is what you see you know what i'm saying the main entrance so i see this mother and daughter and they white setting up a table i'm like oh what is they what are they selling so me and my daughter nay i'm in the car with her i said you know what well i should go back to their table and ask them do they have a permit to sell now mind you my daughter mumsy was in the car okay she was like oh that girl go to our school she don't even live in garden lakes so she don't even live in garden lakes and you posting up selling stuff so they were selling cookies okay i could have been a real bitch and went over there and, and asked her do you have a permit and if she would have said no i could have just called the police i wouldn't even do anything like that because i don't give two rats ass if you have a permit or not either way i'm not buying none of your daggone cookies so it don't matter to me what you do and another reason why i wouldn't do that you got your kid with you why would i want to harass you with your child like some of them have done to us i just find it ridiculous i just really wish that they would stop already this woman she got her brand in target and that's an accomplishment now we got other black brands in target as well and those are also accomplishments but when you see something that we have come through with and we have made an accomplishment can we not be lashed out can we not be big can we just not be victimed? Can we not just be racist? Can we just can we just get along? I'm I'm going to go and I'm going to definitely support Honey Pot. I don't know them personally, but listen, any type of black brand that pops up in Target is well worth it to me. And I just want to give it a try. Maybe they make my edges grow back. I don't know. What do y'all think about that whole thing? Like have you guys tried the Honey Pot brand yet? What do you think of the backlash that she's getting? from non-black people of being racist with her commercial statement. You know, I, I wanna know, I'm interested in knowing. Me personally, I, I honestly do not feel in no way, shape or form 
that it was a racial remark. So I'm not really putting on a lot of eyeshadow. I'm just going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Warm Sun for my eyelids. I don't really like to put on a lot of eye makeup. Bro, I'm not a makeup professional, so that, this is not my forte. I do what I can, and that's basically it. And I like it to be basic, okay? But I will say the foundation does feel really good. It doesn't feel like I have foundation on, so that was real. I mean, like, they was for real about that, and I do like that because I don't really like, like I said, to feel like I have a bunch of stuff on my face. And so far, so good. You can still see, like, my, my skin pigmentation right here, which is my orange, my red, pinkish cheeks. Now human society is doing a little bit too much okay we as human beings are are doing a little bit too much and I know some of you guys are probably gonna pick me apart for this and probably get really upset with me when I say what I say but coming from a mother and a mother's standpoint I feel like this is really necessary to say I don't have any ill feelings against anybody's sexual preference or sexual orientation or whatever like if you're transitioning I don't have anything against that I don't care and when I say I don't care it means it doesn't bother me and I feel like you're grown and this is how you feel within yourself and you do what makes you happy but what I don't agree with okay and this is this is me what I don't agree with is all of these human beings, not all of them, but enough of them, allowing their children to transition. I will just take Dwayne Wade for one because he's the topic. He's like, he's he's doing tours and press release for his 12-year-old son, which, listen, first of all, you know, I have five kids. Unfortunately, my middle son passed away. My daughter is 12. Mumsy is 12. As a 12-year-old mother, a mother of a 12-year-old, I will tell you, she does not know what she's going to want to be in life. Meaning, she don't know if she want to be a doctor, an astronaut, a fireman, a nurse, a bum on the street, a McDonald's hamburger flipper. She don't know. She's only 12. And the things that occupy her mind are TV shows, toys, and crafts and friends at school okay and even sometimes that even is confusing for her so she switches up her mind she switches up her mood she definitely switches up her dress style she switched her dress style up so much on me girl i can't even buy her clothes anymore i just have to give her money because i don't even know what she likes half the time anymore it's just so much why would you allow your 12 year old to transition into a girl they're going through puberty. They're not even fully grown. They still growing. They still got height to get. They still have balls to, to, to grow out. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you even discussing anything like that with a 12 year old beats the hell out of me? That is one thing that should not be discussed in my eyes. Like at 12 years old, why are we talking about you liking girls or you liking boys or you wanting to be a girl or you wanting to be a boy? And if we are going to have that conversation, I'm going to let you know right then and there, honey, you're 12 years old. You need to go back in the room and do your chores, play with some toys, get a hobby, go clean up the kitchen, wash them dishes, and get some good grades in school. We're not about to sit here and talk about what you want to transition into. That is not the appropriate conversation to have with a 12-year-old, okay? And I don't understand with this society now, like I said, I don't have anything against transgenders, transsexuals transvestites, gays, I don't have anything against them. But I think there are some things that a children that children need to continue to do in life and that is to be to be a child, okay? Here it is, we got schools that ain't even teaching black history. But we teaching them in school how to be transgenders or different types of genders. Like my mother told me that there are over 100 different types of genders. Last time I checked, there was only two, male and female. But I guess it's now like, well, I'm going to identify with this, and this is what I want to identify as. So as far as I'm concerned, there's still only two genders. I don't know about anything else because last time I checked, that's what it was. These are children. They are doing a bit too much, I think, with kids now. You know, And like I said, I don't have anything. I, I have nothing against 
the LGBT community. And I'm pretty sure that I missed some letters and I do apologize for that. No disrespect, but there are a lot of letters and it seems like they keep adding on to it. I don't have anything against the LGBT community or what I'm against is the fact that this is being pushed on young children and I don't think it's appropriate. As a mother and a grandmother, kids are so impressionable. And so you want to go and get your 12 year old's penis cut off. Next year he could decide that he, damn, I should never cut my penis off. I wish I would have just kept that. Putting a child through that type of pain, when I went and got my hysterectomy, okay, I didn't think it was going to hurt that bad. All right. It was like over six weeks of healing. But prior to me getting that hysterectomy, a girl had wanted to get some type of plastic surgery, okay? And I'm not even going to sit here and lie and act like I didn't because I did. I had wanted to get some type of plastic surgery. I wanted my stomach nip tucked. I wanted my ass lifted. I have a butt. I don't need anything extra. I just wanted it to be a little bit more rounded, okay, without having to do all them damn squats. So I had made my appointment, you know, to go visit a consultation. Let me tell y'all, when I got my full hysterectomy, you know, they have to cut your abdomen open just a little bit. That was the worst healing process and the worst pain that I have ever been in for weeks, six weeks. That right there, let alone, had me shook it and allowed me to realize, April, if you want a flatter stomach and a nicer booty, just do a workout, girl. Just, just work it the fuck out. Seriously, just go and work out because all of this pain... And, 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 and pain you feeling and pills you got to take to help yourself be pain free is definitely not worth it for something that you could just go ahead and do on your own, which is work out. Why would you put your 12 year old through excruciating pain if they don't have to? I don't really like this eyeshadow look, so I'm just going to take it off. So what I'm doing is putting some foundation over it. And I'm just using the Milani. I brought it just as a backup, just in case I didn't like the um, Derma Blend. When we say anything about the LGBT community, we get scrutinized. And I don't mean as a race, I mean as a non person, a non transgender person, or anyone from that's not in that. Basically, if we say anything negative about the LGBT community or how we feel, we are homophobic, we are transgender phobic now. They have this new one that I've seen on Twitter where if, as a man, if you don't want to date a transgender woman, you are considered to be a transphobic. I've never heard of that one, but if you don't want to date a transgender woman as a man, and you don't want to date a transgender woman, what used to be a man, but now is a woman, then you are trans transphobic. I think I'm saying it right. Like, that's not fair. As a man or... That's our preference. Like, okay, I'm a woman and I don't want to date a man that's a transgender man because that used to be a woman. Like, that's my preference. I'm not, uh, I'm not phobic or scared about anything. I'm just, this is my preference. That's just like, I'm light-skinned, but I don't like light-skinned men. I don't find them attractive. I like dark-skinned men. I think dark-skinned men are attractive. That's not me being light-skinned light phobic. That's my preference. I don't want to date a light-skinned person. I think that dark-skinned men are attractive, and that's my preference. Or how about um, I don't like short wigs, so I'm gonna be a short wig phobic. No, that's my preference. I don't really like short wigs. Not saying that I don't, but I'm just saying I'm just putting that out there to you guys. You know what I'm saying? And it seems like when we say something that how we feel, how we feel about something, we get like basically bashed and scrutinized by the community when it's okay for them to talk shit about us. Like, we're all entitled to our opinions and how we feel. Some of you guys might not like what I'm saying. This is my opinion. You might feel differently about it. That's your opinion. And you are entitled to that by far. You are definitely entitled to your own opinion. But what I just don't like is the fact that they just feel like it's okay to push this on our children. I should just go for like a really natural look, right? Screw the eyeshadow and just go for a really natural look. That 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 was just it's really bothering me. And I, you know, I feel like they're really pushing that on young-minded children who don't really have a mind of their own, who can't even decide whether they want to wear tennis shoes, like y'all call them, or sneakers. Okay? They don't know. As a young person, as a kid. I just think like kids just stay in kids places and that's where they need to be because it's already hard enough out here in this world. You know what I'm saying? We got all kind of evil living out here. And when I say we got all kind of evil living out here, 
We have all types of evil living out here in this world. And you guys know it just as well as I do. You know what I'm saying? People are evil. They will use you up for whatever they can. They, they're, some people's agendas are just to get what they can out of you, befriend you, just to use you for just about anything. So we need to teach our children to look out for signs of being scammed, being used. You know what I'm saying? We need to teach them some shit that they really need to know. Not alter their thoughts about if they want to be a boy or a girl. What I also don't think is cool is the fact that, you know what I'm saying? I love RuPaul's drag show. I love it because I love to see the men transition or transform into, you know, a female. I think it's cool. And their makeup be on point. Listen, y'all, they could do better makeup than half of us can. So I'm, I'm giving them next points for that. But what I don't like is like... They got this new show, and I'm not really sure what it's called. I can't remember. But it's a drag show, and it's for kids. That's not appropriate, okay? I, I really don't find that to be appropriate. They're kids. They're, kids are so impressionable. And I think, you know what I'm saying? As many laws as we have that help children and, and are supposed to keep children safe, shouldn't we have a law to where children cannot have sexual changes until they're at least 20 to their 21 of 21 years of age what kid you know gonna really make a drastic decision decision at 12 years old like i said they don't know whether they want to wear tennis shoes or sneakers and they both the same damn thing but this is what i'm trying to get at a 12 year old want to make a drastic decision no 16 year old needs to be a drastic decision let them be kids man let them go outside sell some lemonade until some white lady try to ask them do they have like a fucking um <laughs> permit for that you know what i'm saying let them be kids that's what i'm saying let them be kids don't nobody allow them to do that no more i really feel like i'm forgetting some things and i know that i probably have the other day when i up uploaded a video it was um with the blonde wig First of all, the damn lens was so close that it made me look so much bigger on camera. I was so peed off about that. Plus, it made my makeup look really, really crappy. And I was peed off about that too. I get peed off a lot about a lot of things. Not Well, not a lot of things. I like to use this Too Faced contour powder. And the color that I'm using is Deep Tan. And I just like to use this to contour my eyes. That just is a topic that I wanted to touch with you guys. And then you wonder why these kids grow up today the way they are. They be ready to kill you with no problem. They're ready to shoot your house down, burn your house down, rob you, just punch you in the back of the head because they got these stupid games going on, how they just go around and punch people. So, I mean, like, it's like society like this. And then they wonder, oh, look at the kids, the youth. They acting up, they, they bad, you know what I'm saying? They don't know how to act. Like, no wonder why they don't know how to act. Y'all ain't letting them be children. I mean, like, if that was one of my kids, we're not gonna have no discussion about you want in the transition into somebody else like we're not having that discussion I'm not saying i'm not supporting you and your decisions not saying any of that but at 12 years old we're not having this discussion what we will discuss about is those dirty dishes in the sink that your ass did not wash or them clothes that you done pick up off the floor that's what we will talk about my eyelids are so hooded like it takes me forever sometimes so i'm gonna just do this off the camera and i'll be right back before i put these lashes on i'm just gonna show them to you real quick i got them from the dollar tree they're really cute but I just so happened to walk in there one day and I seen them, so I'm gonna put them on real quick. Okay, so while these are drying, I'm just going to do some more stuff. I did want to contour, but I don't really know if I really want to because I just sometimes don't like how it comes out. And I know it's like a technique and I don't really think like I'm skilled at that. Like I don't really think that I'm versed at that too great. Like not yet anyway, like I'm not like a pro. But maybe I'll just bronze a little bit with this here, which is by MAC. It's their golden bronze. Okay, so this is by Matt. Pour down. That's nice. Okay, just a little bit more. Wig is really holding up. I'm really feeling this wig from my first wig. Okay. I like the fact that, you know, companies come out with some new stuff, but when they come out with some new stuff, it'd be like some really good stuff, like meaning like they improve not just come out with some new stuff and then it's like oh okay they got a new thing but they still crap you know with rpg show they come out with some new stuff but it, it just seems like they improve they not seems like they have actually really improved over the years so a girl's happy about that i've been working with them since they started so i've been working with them for like 12 years they have really improved okay 
look, I'm getting a little bit carried away because now I'm like, okay, it ain't too much. So let me just try a little bit out, a little bit more, just a tad bit. Whoop, whoop, you know. You know what I like to get? I want some foundation that'll give me like that dewy look, not dry. Like I know I'm already oily, but I would like something that gives me like a nice little dewy look. I don't want to look dry. And sometimes when you look dry, you feel dry. Like, I don't know, but that's just how I be feeling. Like it'll make me feel dry because I'm looking at it. So then it makes my skin feel dry. And I would like some foundation that is like a dewy finish, but it's good for oily skin. So if you guys have any suggestions, hook a girl up in the comments, okay? Let me put these lashes on real quick before they over dry, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to get more lashes like this girl because the eye, my eyelids is droopy, honey, and I'm trying to look cute at 45, okay? Yes, please focus, camera. That's basically what I wanted to talk about. Um, you know, I just feel like we as parents have to protect our children. Stop exposing them to shit that we really don't need to or they don't need to be exposed to. They're kids. Let them be kids. Stop exposing them to shit. And then people get mad when people start picking on, you know what I'm saying, kids. Or how about people get mad because you feel like another person has said too much or... They didn't question your parenting skills. I'm 45 years old, and I changed my mind about a lot of different things. One minute, I don't like eyelashes. One minute, I don't like wigs. One minute, I don't like the color blue. I changed my mind consistently about shit, and I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one. Hell, I changed my mind about my weight loss journey. Not that I'm, 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 I didn't change my mind and say, hey, April, I'm just going to be overweight, but there are days when I don't feel like doing anything, and I have been like that for the past few months. I did try it again. But I wasn't motivated enough. You know, I'm going through a whole lot. So for me, this is like a journey journey. Not even just weight loss, but just healing process of losing my son is a huge journey that I have not yet accomplished. Not even 1%. And I'm still trying to figure that out. You know what I'm saying? So I changed my mind about a lot of things. I go through a lot of things. And for someone to allow their kid to have a sex change is ridiculous. Especially if they are under the age. Um, as far as Dwayne Wade goes, he's ridiculous, okay? He's ridiculous. And then a lot of people are blaming Gabrielle Union for Dwayne Wade's um, decisions, you know what I'm saying? She might have somewhat of an influence on her husband, but he a grown-ass man, and I'm pretty sure that he can make up his own mind. She might have an influence on him, but like I said, he is a grown-ass man. Therefore, he's able to make up his own mind. Now, we already know in real life that kids are cruel, all right? Kids say the most unfiltered stuff that there is, all right? They speak their mind. They're cruel. They're mean, okay? Kids are cruel, and they're mean, and that's just a known fact. I have been bullied my life, my entire life. Not my entire life, but I have been a kid, too. I have been bullied for the littlest, minute things, like things that, like, oh, well, I couldn't afford name brand sneakers my sneakers were balloons they were called balloons so people would make fun of me in junior high school but oh you floating on air you better not float away you know what i'm saying stuff like that i have been bullied oh look at you freckle face freckle face freckle face oh you so yellow what you drink a pot of piss like stuff like that i have really been bullied and teased as a kid okay hair people would tease me because my hair was really long and my mother she didn't really know any styles and I had long hair and it was very fine we put it in braids a bunch of braids I probably had like 20 little braids in my hair with little rubber bands attached people would make fun of me call me Medusa but you know all kind of shit so kids are very cruel so here we got a 12 year old okay who wants to be a girl now and like I just said kids is cruel the world is already cruel enough, so you're going to send this little boy to school so that other kids can make fun of him, basically. Because that's what's going to happen. So you're going to put your kid through a world of hurt and anguish that could have been avoided, okay? And as an adult, I thought we were supposed to protect our children. And as an adult, we too get bullied. And shit, we can't even take that. You know what I'm saying? There are adults out there that bully other adults. We can't even take that, half of us. Because what happens? They go around bullying a, and people get mad and get uptight about that shit being bullied and then they go and shoot up the damn place so here we have this little kid this little boy and he's 12 and you are in a campaign for him to have a sex change 
at 12. So now, he gonna go back to school, whenever he do go back to school as a girl, and people gonna tease him and make fun of him. So now he got to go to all kind of therapies, sit in the chair with a psychiatrist, and evaluate himself, and evaluate his life, and then realize, damn, maybe this wasn't the right, this, maybe this wasn't the right thing for me to do. Damn, maybe this wasn't the decision that I should have chosen. You know what I'm saying? Anything is possible. I don't know. Anything is possible. But I'm trying to figure out which one I should use. I got this MAC one right here, which is NC42. That's my winter color. And then I have the Maybelline Fit Me, which is Warm Sun. Then I have my Pure, which is in the color Tan. So I want a little color, okay? I want, I want a little color, just a little, just a little bit of color. So I think I'm gonna just use this Maybelline. Take your kid, you gonna have him have a sex change, and then you're gonna bring him back to school so that he can make, he can get made fun of and get bullied. And now the poor little kid is gonna have to go to a psychiatrist and get, you know, his feelings evaluated. He might have to be on type of medications opposed to the other med. Opposed to the medication that he's already taken for hormone replacements, he's going to have to be on some type of psychiatric medication because now he's being bullied in school. I, I mean, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying what can happen. I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen to the little boy. But like I said, kids are cruel. And why put them through some shit that they don't even need to go through when life is hard enough as it is? Shit, these little kids out here be running them up. They don't even have good grades half of them. They be talking about all kind of crazy nonsense, doing crazy nonsense, believe crazy nonsense. Shit, half of them don't even want to help their parents do shit. And then here we go talking about kids should be able to have sex changes and all this other foolishness. And like I said, I am not against the LGBTQR whatever community. I'm not. But I just think that there are things that children need to stay in their lane about. And, and to me, this is definitely... You need to stay in your fucking lane. Like, seriously. This is something that kids need to stay in their lane. Just like I said, they have the show for the young kids that is drag queens. And these are young kids. And some of them are dressing up as drag. But there's a, a drag guy and like a, an adult. I don't think that it's cool that kids are laying up on the, on the floor, on the sofa. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that any of that, sh that shit is cool at all. Especially with a grown up. To me, that feels, that seems kind of like in the lanes of pedophilia. That's just, that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I don't think like that it's cool for a grown ass man, regardless if he's a drag queen, a transgender or whatever, to be playing with a bunch of little kids in drag. That's That to me is definitely, that's not cool. I, I don't find that cool. I don't think that that's appropriate for children. You want to be in a video with kids, then be teaching them they damn math. Teach them some algebra. Teach them some ABCs. Half of these kids don't even know who the damn president is, okay? And we all know who that is. But half of them don't even know what one plus one is. Or And when I say that, I mean some grown-ass kids, like high school kids. Some of them don't even know how to read or write. And then we giving these all these different options. They kids, they don't need no options. But go to school, do what you're told. I do feel like children should be able to speak their feelings and express themselves but there is a way to go about doing that is there a proper way to do that and I don't feel like being a child at the age of 12 you have an option to decide whether or not you want to be a girl or a boy. I'm gonna go into this MAC blush. I've had this for some years. This was one of my favorites. Spring Sheen. It's like this, you know, it's a shimmer blush and it's like this peachy color. It's really pretty. I'm loving how everything is showing up on camera. This took me like two weeks to get, to get right, okay? With the lighting, the backdrop, everything. And there were a couple things that I had to purchase, like, um, Oh, the curtains and the fabric that I didn't even need. The thing about fabric, you can't return that. Because if I could return it, I could. I would have. Once they cut it for you, it's yours forever. It's yours to keep, which sucks. So I'll probably end up sending it to my mom because she, you know, she makes doll clothes for American Girl doll, which is um, as hell. My mom makes American Girl doll clothing, okay? And it's, she just, she, this is her hobby. And let me tell you, she surprised me like a month and a half ago with a sewing machine. Now, I know how to sew, and I had some sewing machines here, but they weren't like working out in my favor. They basically was not working out for me. 
they were they were older and I like the older machines versus the new ones and I had them repaired but they were just missing some things so she sent me this really good singer because I love singer sewing machines that's the only ones that I prefer to use and that's what I actually have so she sends me this singer sewing machine and more or less she wants me to also show Mumsy how to um sew with it because Mumsy is like a huge crafter she loves crafts so this sewing machine has been sitting in its box. I have yet to open it, okay? Yet to open the damn thing. But I'm going to just send it to my mom because she makes uh, clothing for American girls. And I'm so, this is in her spare time, her hobby, because she does work, but she doesn't work as much. You know, she'll go to work for like a couple of days, a couple of days out of the week. Because for one, it takes her like two hours just to get to work, all right? I don't want all these baby hairs. And you know, she lives in New York City and her work, her job is only like 10 miles away, but she takes public transportation. So it takes her like two hours and you know, and then when she's on the bus, she's always on the bus talking to me about the people on the bus because they have ignorant teenagers on the bus. They're loud and obnoxious and it sucks. What really pisses me off as is when my mom tells me these things, okay, she's describing these teens. Why do they always have to be black teens? Our people. That's what pisses me off. And not just black children, but children and teens in general can be. But my mom, in in the area where she works at, or, or rather where the bus goes through, it's a predominant, it's a predominantly black high school. So these kids get on the bus and they're swearing and they're cursing and you know what is so sad it makes it worse is it mainly be the young girls like you know the young teenager girls they're so loud and I've heard them on the bus when my mom is on the phone with me you know what I'm saying it's just disgusting to see that you act this way and then you guys want to give them options so she um, tells me about you know how these kids be acting on the bus and stuff and it's crazy because that is teenagers today. They have no respect for half of themselves. And not all of them. Not all of them. Thank God my daughter, Nay, who's 17, does not act like that. Because if she did, I would have to kill her. But, you know, she does not act like that, thank God. And um, not that I know of, okay? Y'all know otherwise, let me know. But, but so yeah, so in her spare time, as her hobby, she makes doll clothes for um, American Girl Doll. Not the per se company, but she makes them on her own. And you know, she has like an account where she sells them. So I told her she better put them on Amazon. Okay, stop playing around because she's been making these clothes and she has not posted them up yet. And they're actually really, really cute dresses. And you know, American Girl is not cheap, you know, and that's the one doll that my mother absolutely loves. So I make sure to get her one like for special occasions, her birthday, Mother's Day. You know, I started her collection for her and I'm the one who constantly buys her dolls. So I do know that American Girl doll is not cheap at all and neither is the clothing. So she's been making all these clothes for like the past, I want to say year and has yet to put them on Amazon yet. I really want her to because she makes like some amazing outfits and I know that they would be hits, but she wants to get like, she wants to accumulate like a whole bunch at one time and then stuff. I don't know, but I think she's accumulating them. So yeah, she, um, she sends me the sewing machine and I'm like, mommy, I don't sew, but I sew by hand the wigs. She's like, I sent this to you so that you can learn how to make a wig on a sewing machine. So I'm excited about that, but I have yet to open it. I have yet to get around to it. I don't even know why I'm not doing that. I look, it's all done. This is basic. Like, this is definitely basic, honey. This wig is bomb. I do like it a lot. My first wig is bomb as hell. I'll definitely link the video and the, the wig down below me. I do enjoy doing these talks with you guys, even though my makeup was not, like, all dramatic and stuff. Because, I, you know, I like a natural look. But, I mean, I could just use a little bit more bronzer. I like bronzer. Like, just a little bit, right? Well, let me bronze up my forehead a little bit, honey. Okay, I think that's it. All right, that's definitely enough. Got me a little glow. Just a little glow. Okay. Um, yeah, other than that, that's about it, you guys. I enjoyed this talk with you guys. Um, I don't know what else to say. I, don't, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, you know, I really hope you guys did. 
um, I like to get ready. I like to put makeup on. You know, maybe it improve my makeup skills. But this is the look. This is the this is the look, honey. This is the everyday look. It's basic. And let me tell y'all. Okay, this foundation actually came out really, really cute. All right, I am definitely feeling it, and the color actually worked for me after it kind of like oxidized down. This is my color, girl. And you look, look at my neck, you can tell. And also, even though I said it felt dry, I just put a couple of sprays of this on my face or the MAC Fix Plus, and the dull, dry, ashy look is gone. But you know, also, what else? It helped under my eye area because that is like the most hard part for me when it comes to doing my makeup is to conceal my under eyes. I have to use like a whole bunch of different other stuff. And all I did was put on this foundation and it kind of concealed it right away. And then I just put a little bit of the CoverGirl um, True Blending Undercover Eye. I like this stuff now, you guys. I really do like this stuff. This works, but I only had to do it once. Normally I have to do the foundation, this, and then I put another one on. But this is good. This is like perfect this is good enough okay so I, I'm liking this derma blend okay I'm not really sure if I would mix it with my other foundation because it does say you can I haven't tried it because you know I just got it today so I might want to give it a try with the mix mixture but I don't know right now you know first I want to wear it like this because I actually really do like this like it's lightweight like it really doesn't feel like you have anything on and you know what else it doesn't look as thick as other full coverage foundation and I don't like the cakey look all right that's one thing I like to wear makeup but I don't want you to, to be like damn she got a lot of makeup on like especially after hours and you have oily skin that stuff looks disgusting well I don't know about you guys face but I know on me hours and hours of wearing full but full coverage foundation on my face and makeup I start looking really like aged and it starts looking even thicker so I definitely don't like to wear like a lot of makeup on my face and I like this look because it gives me that youthful look and even though I put on makeup some of it still makes me look a little bit aged this gives me like that, that youthful look and plus I moved the camera lens the camera way back so girl I don't look so wide oh that video pissed me off so mm, made me look so much bigger than what I am like I am going do some things okay and I definitely have to go back to my weight loss journey mode but um and I'm and I'm really disappointed with myself for gaining the weight but you know I will I will get back to where I am I'm definitely not going to allow myself to get back up to what I was but I just am a little bit disappointed with myself as far as weight control but you know that's life and we go through a lot of things in life you know OMG, did I forget to mention? So my son, Shumpo, which is Jerron, my eldest, who was in New York, he came out with his new album. So the album is called Jalen, which is after my middle son. Um, and this is like a full album and it's on iTunes. And I don't really care for rap music. I'm not like the hugest fan of rap music. And um, this album is definitely fire. Like every last song is Every last song in the album has something to do with either my son. Well, every last song does have something to do with my son. But if you don't really know us and you don't and you're not in our family, then you wouldn't really understand or you wouldn't get the snippets that's in there. You know what I'm saying? Like just like first certain verses, you wouldn't get it. But even if you didn't get it, it's like bomb as hell. And my favorite song on the album is called Foe, F-O-E, which stands for Family Over Everything. And this one was a slow down tempo. And I, you know, when I listen to it, it um it brings me to tears, but it's truth. And I'm so proud of my son. Like I'm so proud of Jerron. I really, really am. So I purchased the album. First of all, I have iTunes music, like I iTunes, Apple Music, so you can just download anything you want. You don't have to pay for it. But so I did that at first, and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go support him. So I went to iTunes and I actually purchased it for $9.90 because I wanted him to have that support. But I love the freaking album and, you know, I encourage you guys to go listen to it, support him, purchase it. And it might not be something in there for everyone, but the tempo, this, you know what, I'm going to say this. This whole rap flow has improved so much. Like, it's amazing how much he has grown as an artist. 
and his whole rap flow is different, and I'm and I'm appreciating that. So I've been blasting and playing this album for like days, and I'm really really proud of him for it. He even has an article where they wrote wrote about him, and I hopefully I remember to link all this stuff below. But um, you definitely want to show the love and support to these young black men and young black women. So, you know, I'm all aboard for him and I'm very proud of him. And I hope that this journey continues for him and just progresses. But as a mother girl, I'm definitely proud of him. And I know some of you guys might not like what you may hear in the songs, like cuss words or whatever, but they're not directed towards you. It's music. Some people think a little bit too much into stuff. And that's the thing that I don't like. Like, it's a song. Get over it and just move on. Okay? Listen to the next. And, yeah, that's about it, you guys. So let me know what you think of this look. It was just so basic. Okay? Check out my first wigs. Okay? I bet you're looking cute, honey. But anyway, I'm going to go. And on that note, I'll see you guys in a soon to come. Oh yeah, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, share it, let me know what you want to see in the comments, and I love you guys. Get em, spin em, but lunch in my shoe in the denim, I put the records on them, big bands can't bend em, ops, we hit em, fuck em off, we bend em.